Hey guys, it's Chris. I might look a little funny to you. I don't know, maybe I look better to you than I usually do. Um, I'm doing a mask. I'm doing a sheet mask. I don't know if you've ever seen these before. They're a little scary looking. I look like Mike Myers. Um, but these sheet masks are fantastic. Um, this one is a little bit dry. I kind of feel like if you don't use these up, they get a little bit dry. I've got I've got some moisture on my hands. You can see that there's some on there. Um, but um, if you've never used these masks, you should give them a try. They are fantastic. Um, there there's a lot more on the market than there ever used to be. Um, the one that I'm using is um, it's facial essence mask, firming lifting with vitamin C contains vitamin C and botanical extracts. There's one mask in here. Um, I got this, I actually got this at Big Lots, and I, I bought one of them um, in the beginning. I bought one of them, because who knows if you're going to like it. I mean, it was only, this one was only 60 cents. So I thought, uh, how good can it be? This one is fantastic. It really is. Um, this one in particular is dry, though. It's not dry, but it's not as juicy as um, ones that I've used in the past. Like I'm having a hard time keeping it on my skin right now. Um, it's moist. It's not. It's just not dripping. You're supposed to leave it on your face. You're supposed to cleanse your face um, first and then leave this on your face. I'm putting my hand in there because there's a lot of juice in here. Oh, look at that. See it's dripping out? That is good stuff right there. You do not want to waste that. So I have, you know what I'm going to do? You know what I do with this? Well, for right now, I'm going to put this here so that it sticks better. Um, but then I put it all over my neck. That sounded funny, didn't it? All over my neck. <laughs> and um, if I didn't have a shirt on, I'd be going all down my chest. I put it on my hands. Because as we age, your hands need to have attention also. You don't want to neglect your hands. You do not want to neglect your neck, people. I just recently realized that watching one of my favorite YouTubers here, um, Uppies Beads, she talks about how important it is to take care of your neck, just like the rest of your skin. Because if, if you've noticed, when you look at a lot of women, you know, they, they take, some women might take care of their face, but then you look at their neck and they have like this, you know, old wrinkly neck and, uh, nobody wants that. So you got to start taking care of your neck. And so I, all, anything, I, I wash my neck when I wash my face. I wash, I put serums and creams and all kinds of good things. Um, but you saw how wet that was. And there's still some left in there, as a matter of fact. I could get some more out of there. Um, but these masks are fantastic, and you're supposed to, you know, lay down and relax for 20 to 30 minutes and let it soak in, but, you know, I do some laundry, I do my dishes, you can't really talk on the phone unless you're on speakerphone, I guess, um, but, you know, after 20, 30 minutes after having this on, when you pull this mask off, your skin is bright and soft and beautiful. You don't have to spend a ton of money on these facial masks. I have some masks that I purchased um, from Target that are these, these same type of masks, these cloth facial masks. Um, bar, I think they're called bar masks or something like that. Um, and I, I think it's something like $9.99 for three masks. It still isn't expensive, but... Um, you don't have to buy expensive, you don't always have to buy expensive things to get good results. Um, and this is one of those things. I very highly recommend these masks. Vitamin C in particular is so good for your skin. It's brightening. It helps turn over your cells for, um, you know, cell renewal, which will expose, you know, brighter newer, fresher skin, which is what we want. Um, so anything, if you can ever get any kind of uh, facial products with vitamin C in them for anti-aging is, is what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm going to be 45 this year, so I'm, I'm a, in a different um, place now with my skin care. 
I'm, I'm, I tend to look at things that say anti-aging, um, whereas before I never really cared about that. And honestly, I wish I had started this 20 years ago. Um, I just kind of, when I discovered YouTube and I came on and started, you know, watching videos and learning things, it's never too late to start a good skincare regime, but you should start when you're young. You should start, you know, your your mother or whomever is raising you should start you off early with good skin care. And uh, putting creams and serums on in your 20s, I think, is a fantastic idea because, um, you know, preventative maintenance is much better than you know, being injected with things and, and going under the knife, which I'm not against. I am not against that. I think that Americans have a put a huge stigma on, um, you know, uh, going under the knife and having plastic surgery and having injections and things like that. When you go to Korea or, you know, the, uh, any other Asian, mostly Koreans, um, they're the ones that you hear about in the news and in the articles and stuff. They have no stigma attached to um, plastic surgery and injections and things like that. As a matter of fact, you know, it's just a way of life. Why wouldn't you want yourself to look better? I mean, when, don't you want to look better? I certainly do. And preventative measures is really what, what we should be concentrating on so that we don't have to go to that, you know, extreme of, of having things injected. Um, you know, at an early age, I would say, let's say that. Um, so this type of stuff is preventing aging. Vitamin C is where it's at, people, honestly. So um, I've had this on for a while, and I'm going to take it off, and this I'll show you what I do. I take this off, and this is still wet. So I kind of fold it up like that and I just kind of like rub it. I'm being very gentle. I'm not tugging on my skin at all. I'm barely touching my skin as a matter of fact. And I'm just kind of like rubbing it in, you know, soaking it in. Is my eyebrow coming off? No, it's okay. <laughs> Don't want your eyebrow to come off. It doesn't hurt your eyes. It doesn't sting your eyes at all. I have very sensitive eyes. As a matter of fact, um, I scratched my cornea in this eye. It was a year ago in August, and um, I still have problems with it. It still is not completely healed. And so, besides having sensitive eyes, on top of that, I have an actual problem with my eye. Um, but this does not hurt it. This doesn't hurt me anyway. It doesn't sting. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't anything. Um, but it just, um, I don't know if you can see that my skin is very pink and glowing like an angel. <laughs> At least that's what I tell myself. You got to tell yourself good things. You can't wait for other people to do it. You got to tell yourself good things. You're beautiful. You're smart. Look look at my skin. Isn't it beautiful? It's not conceited. It's being good to yourself. Being kind to yourself. Treat yourself the way you would treat your best friend. You know, you would lift them up and you would make them feel good about themselves. So that's what we have to do to ourselves. So anyway, I'm rubbing this on my hands right now. I have some age spots. Look at the age spots, people. Look at that. I'm only 44 and I've got some age spots. My my hands need some anti-aging for sure. So if I weren't in front of the camera, I probably would be rubbing this all over my entire body, my chest, my shoulders, you know, wherever, um, because this is some good stuff. It really is. I very highly recommend any of these sheet masks. I haven't really come across a bad one, to tell you the truth. Um, they have all kinds. They have an anti-wrinkle. They have a collagen one. They have the vitamin C ones. Um, you know, all kinds of stuff. I have not personally come across the snail one. I don't know if you guys have heard of the snail. Um, 
Essence, I think they call it. It's supposed to be really big right now in skincare. Um, and I haven't personally come across any of those masks, but they are out there. And also, there there are some very, very expensive masks out there that, that you can get. I, I don't tend to go for those because personally, I don't really need to. I find good results with these. That was 60 cents, that mask that I just put on my face. And my my hands, like I can't stop touching my hands. They're soft. My skin feels fantastic. It's it's a little tacky right now. It hasn't quite dried yet. But when it does dry, it doesn't um it doesn't leave like a residue or anything that's uncomfortable. Like I said, it's still tacky, but um it hasn't dried yet completely. And um I would highly, highly recommend these. Um I personally got this mask at Ocean State Job Lots, I think it's called. Am I allowed to say that? Um, and the other masks I've gotten at Target, and then um, my favorite place to get masks is um, Marshalls and TJ Maxx. You can find some really good things. Sometimes you have to really go through their bins or whatever they have at your Marshalls or TJ Maxx because I've seen them hiding before. Um, so you have to go through there. But um, anyway, so that's my review. I give I give these these uh, sheet masks a big thumbs up and um, I hope you guys are all doing great please subscribe to my channel it means so much to me thumbs up this video if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video thanks you guys take care bye